This video will show you how to manage your Virusoft web shop. The web shop is integrated with the Virusoft rental software and it makes it possible for your customers to place rental orders directly into your rental software. We have the Virusoft rental software here, which the shop is built upon. It's integrate meaning that your customers can only book free units and the orders will be placed directly into the system. We have the shop. This is an, this is an example of a shop and then we have the shop administration. The web shop is built on a CMS system called Jamba, which you can see here. In your rental software, you decide under the menu shop which categories you want to have in your rental web shop, which of your products and items you want to list in the rental web shop, delivery methods, payment methods, discount coupons, and settings for the shop. Let's say that we want to create a new category, it could be tents. say this is this is party tense and we'll not assign it a picture. Say save category. Then we can select which of our products we want to add to the shop. It could be we can search here by saying tent. We take this bundle and say assign selected products to the shop. And then we go to list products and shop. And you will see here that we have chosen that we want to have this product in the web shop. Go into say we want to have it in the category named tent. It has to be active in the shop. The price, maybe if the product is on sale, and we can say this is a nice tent. We can Select the picture if we want, give it descriptions, etc. We say save product to the shop. If you go back to the settings, we can select what time if we want to have it on the front page. So it's a future product. We can add additional pictures as a gallery. We can add attributes, it could be color, it could be taste, etc. We have related products. In related products, you can assign products which have to be shown after a customer have ordered a product. It could be, are you interested in this item? And then we have the forced buy. It means products. You have to buy one of the products listed below for additional sales. So we say save products. And we have now, and we have now set up this product in the category named tents. Then we have to set up some delivery methods. It could be we deliver. We say this is delivery to customers and higher in at customer, meaning we are supposed to pick up. What country does this delivery method cover? What price interval is this up to 10,000 and up to 1,000 kilos? And we have to assign a product for this and the price could be 100. Then we can go and enter a delivery zone. Say create new zone and it could be area one. And we can say this zone covers this area. And we say save zone. And then add area one. And say shop. You can now see that we have created a delivery method in the price interval 0 to 10,000 with the weight interval 0 to 1,000. A price for this and we have made a zone where this delivery method is available. The delivery method will only be shown for customers ordering in the webshop in this area. 
We can always go and edit the zone where this delivery method is available. Then we have payment methods. We can go and create a new. Then we have to set up a new payment methods. We can select a standard method. It could be bank transfer. We call it. We call it bank transfer. And we say transfer the money to our account. This is this payment method is available towards all customer and for orders up to ten thousand. And is there a free a price for paying with with this payment method? It could be ten. And we say save payment methods. Then we can add discount coupons. It could be a coupon for a show. It could be order now, and it give you ten percent discount. Could be used a hundred times, and it's active. So now we have set up categories. We have set up products, delivery methods, payment methods, discount coupons, and we can just go to the general settings where you are able to link towards your terms, select what order types you are using, what email you want to be sent to the customer, and you can select passwords for the access to Joomla. We also have a tab called Design, where you can configure the heater width, you can select banner, you can select standard pictures, and you can style your shop using CSS. You can say save settings, and that's what actually what you have to do in the backend system. All the shop settings are managed from Joomla, which you can access from shop and settings and then shop administration. We have the templates. We have some standard templates you can use to style and design your shop. And you can for instance say that this is selected, just press it and press the default button. If we click on theme, you have a lot of possibilities in how to style it, what colors you want, where you, where you want to place different options, etc. In settings, you can, for instance, change the color to another one and then press save. And the settings for the template have been chosen. We can try and access the shop. You can see that we just changed some settings and the top is now red. We have to create some menus. We can go to top menu and you can see all the existing menu points. We can create a new menu point and we want to link it to our shop and to the products. And we have the category with created before tense, we call it tense, set up settings file and we say save, we now go to the shop, update it and you can see we've got a menu point called tense and if we click on it we will see the product called small party tents bundle I will now be able to Select rental dates, press it add to cart, and then order the product. So the menus are controlled with the Joomla system. So actually what you're supposed to control with Joomla is the layout and the menu. You can also add an article that's a static PC, for instance terms, terms, say remember terms, let's say C. And we can make a new menu point into top menu, say link it to an article, article layout, we can select terms, call it terms, terms, let's say save, we 
go back to the page here and you'll see that we now have a menu point called trips. So that's how you use Joomla to control design, static pages and menus. Let's say that we want to place an order. We can go back here, rent the tent, go to the shopping cart, go to the checkout flow. We say, my name is Jacob Jensen, my email is jj at biosoft.com, my phone number, my address is testway, and my zip code and CD. The system will now control if we have a delivery methods available in that area. Can go back to the system, say delivery method, list delivery methods, say delivery zones. We can see that we don't have a delivery zone available, so we can select here, yeah. say save zone. I'll go back to the checkout flow. Reload the page. And we can now see that we have a delivery zone available, payment method. You have to agree on the terms and condition and then you can place the order. The order has now been placed and as a customer, I'm now able to get out a confirmation. And we go back to the booking system. You can see here on the dashboard that we just got a new order and it's awaiting approval. You can now go and review the order. You can say that you order bundle products and we can change the status to books. And now the order is placed in your system. So that's actually a very quick introduction to the Microsoft Rental software and the rental webshop. If you have any questions, feel free to contact